Sun has arrived and the village of Milford is welcoming the warm weather that will be returning next week. Keenan promises with a night of food and shopping and joining me today to talk about Ladies Night Out. One of the organizers, Tracy Goodenough and also Chef Perry Sinicola from the Milford House Bar and Grill. Good morning to Good both morning. of you. Morning. Thank you for being with us. Now you've brought a whole spread. You're going to make a dish for us. We'll yeah. go ahead and let you get started on that. What are you going to make this morning? Uh, we're going to make uh, pasta pomodoro and it's going to be with a gluten free penne pasta. Oh, nice. Yep. It's a nice, uh, savory dish, flavorful, but a little bit light, too. And what do you start with in the pan? Uh, we're going to start with olive oil. Always, uh, always a smart way to start uh -huh. when you're dealing with pasta, right? You bet. Yep, that carries the flavors all the way through the product. So um, you're making the sauce first? Yep, making okay. the sauce first is what we're doing. And what goes in the sauce? And then what goes in is uh, the garlic. You start with the garlic. Yeah, you got to make right. sure it's nice and hot. And is this and a feature that you have on your menu all the time or yes, just for ladies' yeah. night out? Okay. Yeah, we're doing the gluten free for the ladies' night out. And we've been having some requests for that. Oh, yeah. You know, dietary restrictions Absolutely. and all that. Absolutely. A lot of people are choosing to do it as well. Mm -hmm. But this is one of the most popular uh, items on our menu as far as the uh, penny. Of the pasta pomodoro. All right. Well, so. as you continue doing that, I'm going to also bring in Tracy okay. because you are the organizer of Ladies' Night Out, mm -hmm. and and this really is a fun event. It's been going on almost what seven years? Yes, we've had it actually um, over seven years, and it's been a great event. We do it two Thursdays of the year, um, the last April, the last Thursday in April, and then the first Thursday in October, and it goes from five to nine. Um, it's a great night to have your ladies come out, join you as a group. We do specials. I own a shoe store in downtown Milford called For Feet Sake, so I'll be doing discount specials through the night. So will some of the other stores, such as Clothing Cove, Nana's Niche and Corner. Um, we also have, obviously, restaurant specials, and Perry's got some great sangria that he's going to be doing that night. Oh, you know what? Um, sangria is always a fan favorite, especially on Ladies' Night. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. I, I can, I can uh, vouch for that. For sure. Now you've added some. Uh, yep, crushed added some uh, tomatoes. diced tomatoes. Yep, uh, fresh basil, salt and pepper. This looks so fresh and delicious. And then, yep. One of the keys too is to make sure you toast the garlic really good. Um, mm -hmm. That helps bring the flavor out with the olive oil, and it transmits the flavors throughout the product. Fantastic. So, do that dish. Now you uh, obviously have been, you know, in in the area for quite a while. Your restaurant's been there for 20 years. Yeah. Have you been a part of Ladies' Night Out since it started? Oh yeah. Yep, we're we're kind of a hub there on the corner, you know, in town. You have so. a great location. Remind yeah. people where it's located. It's right on the corner of East Commerce and Main Street, and so it just uh, it's been there. We've been at that location for the last uh, uh, 14 years. Well, you know what? What's cool too about having an event like this in Milford? It's such a walkable, charming downtown. Mm -hmm. And again, how many different uh, businesses are taking part in this? We have over 30 businesses and restaurants that are all within the downtown area. It's all within walking distance. And what we do that night is we also have a special postcard. The ladies can come in and get this postcard. If they get 10 stamps at each of the locations, they can turn that in, and we have gift certificates, over 40 gift certificates to give away that night. And how do they get the stamps? They, they get the stamps. They just go through the, the local stores and the restaurants, and we'll get the stamp, and then they come just back and they turn them into the me. Door. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like it's a game. It's like, it let's is. get it's, all our stamps. Exactly. That's what we have. Actually, we have people come down just for the stamps and then to enjoy the specials that are in town. Um, we all do different treats at the stores and then, um, again, giveaways. It'll, it's a great night to come out with your girlfriends. Well, thank you again. We're running out of thank time. So I'm going to taste this during the break. Thank yep. you so much for being with us again. Ladies Night Out in Milford next Thursday from 5 to 9. We'll have a news brief right after this.